Hi there, welcome back to UChat tutorial. This video we are talking about triggers. So there are three questions today. Why use trigger? What kinds of events and how to add trigger? Okay, question one, why use triggers? Well, triggers can help automatically run workflow when some events happen so that you can put action in the workflow to deal with the event. Question two, what kinds of event can be registered as trigger? So in your action step, go basic action. Everything listed here except from this one can be registered as trigger, including tag action, variable value change, sequence action, subscribe and unsubscribe to the bot. So when a user first talk to your bot, they are subscribed to your bot. And email, SMS, up in, up out. If a user leaves their email address and uh, phone number to you and they allow you to send email and message to them, then you can put up in action to them. And later, if they choose to, uh, they don't want it to receive your email or message, then you can put up out action to them. So conversation open and done, you can make it in uh, action step, let the bot to deal with it, and you can also manually mark conversation open or done. It's in the live chat from the left sidebar. In your inbox, click a user. User asking for some help, and once you solve their problem, you can click here to mark the conversation done, and they will disappear in the inbox. But you can still find it in done. And if you want to change your mind and you click here to put it back to the inbox. So these two action is manually mark the conversation uh, done or open. Question three, how to add trigger? So you can choose either to add a trigger first in automation and then assign a workflow to it, or you can create a workflow and add a trigger in the star steps. So let's create a user free first for the demonstration. Situation. Okay, I already created. Okay, situation. In your automation, click trigger and then add trigger. For example, let's make our conversation is done. Activate it, add condition if needed, and then choose a subflow conversation done to it. So in the conversation done, uh, you can see like here, the trigger is added automatically. So in the action step, let's change the variable value. Situation, conversation done. Okay, publish it and we can test it. So this user is now in inbox and the customer view custom user view have nothing here yet and when I click this button okay now it's in done and customer user view you can see yeah conversation done so the second way to add trigger as I said it's in in the workflow conversation open right, let's add the trigger here add conversation open Activate it, save, and then in the action step, let's change the variable value again to conversation open. Okay, publish, and then let's test it in the live chat. Done. Click this button to put it in inbox. Okay, now you can see the customer view user view is changed to conversation open and after that when you come back to the trigger in automation you can see here the conversation open is automatically added to here yeah that's all about trigger thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video